Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onan de Guzman and our topic for today is piecewise function. Specifically, we will talk about the graph and valuation for general mathematics grade 11. First, let's define the piecewise function. A piecewise defined function, also known as a piecewise function or hybrid function, is a function which is defined by multiple sub-functions. Also, a function consistent of a combination of equations such as linear equations, linear and nonlinear equations, or nonlinear equations, where each equation corresponds to a certain domain of the function this piecewise function number 1. So f of x is equal to 2 if x is less than or equal to 4. So meaning to say our domain is less than or equal to 4. So meaning to say this is the value of x so which is equal to. However, if x is greater than 4, meaning to say our domain is greater than 4, we have the function 1 plus x. Now, in order to illustrate this, let's use the table of values. So, I'll start with f of x is equal to 2 if x is less than or equal to 4. So, I'll start here. If 1 is x, so the value of f of x is equal to 2. So, if x is equal to 2, we have 2. So, we have if x is equal to 3, f of x is equal to 2. So, if we have x is equal to 4, so f of x is still 2. So, this is a constant function. So, if we will graph this, so the graph looks like this, okay? So it moved to, okay, we have actually from negative infinity and we will stop here until 4. So that is why we have here the domain. On the other hand, if I have the function f of x is equal to 1 plus x, if x is greater than 4, using the table of values, if x is 5, so f of x is equal to 6, if x is equal to 6, 7, x is equal to 7, we have 8 for f of x, then we have 8 for x, and f of x is equal to 9. Having this okay, set of points, then we will try to graph this, so the value looks like this. Now, since this is greater than 4, say for instance, if we will get here, okay, uh, 4.1, so somewhat that is actually 5.1, so somewhat here, so we exclude. So if you'll notice, this is a hollow, okay? So therefore, this is the okay, graph of the piecewise function f of x is equal to if x is less than or equal to 4, while we have x uh, 1 plus x if x is greater than 4. Another example, so graph the piecewise function, then determine the domain and the range. So let's start with, okay, the given f of x is equal to x plus 2 if x is less than or equal to 2. So this is the domain. On the other hand, we have parabola or we have here x squared if x is greater than 0. So let's start. So using the table of values, so I'll use values less than or equal to 0. So if x is equal to 0, we have 2 because 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. If x is equal to negative 1, so I have here, okay, x plus 2, so negative 1 plus 2 is equal to 1. Then we have here negative 2, if x, so negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Then we have negative 3, so negative 3 plus 2 is equal to negative 1. So if we will try to graph that, so the graph is something actually from this point going down, right, to the third quadrant. On the other hand, if I have here the parabola f of x is equal to x squared if x is greater than 0. So if I'll try to use 0, so I have here 0, but however, I'll try to exclude that. So I'll start with 1. So 1 times 1 is equal to 1, so that is the value of f of x. If x is equal to 2, so 2 times 2 equals 4 x is equal to 3, 3 times 3 equals 9, then we have 4, 16. So if I'll try to graph this, so the graph looks like this. So a while ago, that if I use x is greater than 0, 
So, supposed to be, like, if I use x is equal to 0, so 0 times 0 is equal to 0. For, again, I'll exclude the value of 0, so that's why I have a hollow. So, therefore, this is the graph of the function. Now, if I want to determine the, okay, domain, so it means that I can use all the values of x. Although I have here the hollow, I can cover up this with this value of x. So it means that I can use all the value of x. So therefore, so the domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. On the other hand, r or the range is actually the value of y or values of y that I can use from the given function. So take note that I can use all the values of y. So that is why the range is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Move on to problem number three. So graph the piecewise function to determine the domain and range. So if you will observe, we have actually three already functions, sub functions. So we have x plus four if x is less than one. So two if x is greater than or equal to one but less than four. Then x minus five if x is greater than or equal to four. Again, so what we're going to do is we will use the table of values. So if x plus four Okay, it's the function. So, if the domain is x is less than 1. So, if we will have here, so this is from, okay, less than 1 here. So, again, I have here table of values. If x is equal to negative 3, so the function, or f of x is equal to 1, negative 2, 2, negative 1, 3, and 0, 4. So, if I'll draw the graph of this function somewhat like this. So, exclude already the 1. Okay, supposed to be if x is equal to 1, so we have here 5. So exclude that value. On the other hand, if I have f of x is equal to 2, if x is greater than 1 but less than 4, so using the table of values, I have here if x is equal to 1, okay, f of x is equal to 2, 2, 2 pa rin, then we have 3, 2, 3.5. So, why I use 3.5, that is approaching positive 4. So, you will notice this is actually a constant function. Okay? So, we have from, okay, I include here x is equal to 1, but I exclude here 4. So, this is the, okay, graph, okay, of this function. On the other hand, if I have f of x is equal to x minus 5, if x is greater than Four. So, I have the table of values. We have here, if x is equal to 4, negative 1. If x is equal to 5, we have 0. x is equal to 6, 1. 7 is equal to 2. So, the graph is actually moving upward to the first quadrant. So, now, if we will determine the domain. So, if we will inspect that I can use the value of x is equal to 1 here. So, this point will cover this hollow. As well as here, the value of x here is 1, 2, 3, 4. So I can use the value of x. This one will cover up the value of x. So therefore, so we can say that, okay, the domain is equal to from negative infinity to positive infinity. While the range, obviously, is from negative infinity to positive infinity because I can use all the values of y. Since we talked already the graphing of piecewise functions, so let's move on now to evaluation of the piecewise function. So let's consider this piecewise function f of x is equal to negative 2x minus 4 if x is less than negative 2, x squared minus 2 if x is greater than or equal to negative 2 but less than 1, then okay 2 if x is greater than or equal to 1. So we will try to evaluate the following, f of 2, f of negative 3, 0, uh, f of negative 1 half, 3, and 3 over 2. So let's start. So if f of 2, meaning to say, okay, this is the domain. So wh what function that will okay, accommodate the value of x is equal to 2? So we have here actually here greater than or equal to 2. So we will use this function. 
So therefore, that is 2 if x is greater than or equal to 1. So therefore, we can say that f of 2 is equal to 2. So this is a constant function. Letter B, f of negative 3. Again, let's consult okay, on the domain that use this particular negative 3. So here, okay, so we have actually negative 2x minus 4 if x is negative 2 because negative 3 is less than negative 2. So therefore, if we will substitute here negative 3 to negative 2x minus 4, so we have negative 2 times negative 3 minus 4, so we have 6 minus 4 or f of negative 3 is equal to positive 2. On the other hand, f of 0 so where can you find the domain or oh, what function will have a domain of zero? So we have actually in this function. So we have here x squared minus 2 if x is greater than or equal to negative 2 but less than 1. Again, substitute the value of 0 to this function. So I have 0 squared minus 2. So this is 0 minus 2, or f of 0 is equal to negative 2. So let us now continue. What if? Find or evaluate f of negative 1 half. So what domain? Domain will govern this or will hold this as negative 1 half. So what function? So actually, we can use this function so we have x squared minus 2 if x is greater than or equal to negative 2 but less than positive 1. So again, so all x's will be substituted by negative 1 half. So again, we have negative 1 half squared minus 2. Negative 1 half times negative 1 half is equal to 1 fourth minus 2. So rename into equal uh, or with equal fractions or equal rational uh, expressions. So we have here the denominator of 2 here is 1. So 1 times 4 is equal to 4. So 4 times 1 is equal to 2. So that's why we have 1 fourth minus 8 over 4. Okay. So f of negative 1 half therefore is equal to negative 7 over 4. Next, letter E. f of 3. So again, what function will have a domain of, okay, 3. So, actually, we can find this one. 2 if x is greater than or equal to 1. So, that is the technique. So, determine first the domain that will hold the given function. So, again, so this is a constant function. So, f of 3 is equal to 2. And finally, if we have 3 over 2, f of 3 over 2. So, again, so... Upon inspection, so what function will have the domain of f of 3 over 2? So again, if we will consult here, this is actually the function, okay, 2 if x is greater than or equal to 2. So therefore, we can say that the function or f of 3 over 2 is equal to 2. So that ends our discussion on piecewise function. This is Teacher Onid Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.